Good morning from me and Ryan. Is it still morning? Oh, it's not morning anymore. Peter is working and I'm hanging out here for a little bit. Oh, but she gonna cry. to do since we moved away. Like all of our other trips have had to be like traditions with the family, other things like we that. We haven't done like a Peter and family Sarah classic stuff. We date. haven't gone on a Chicago date and that was actually part of my Christmas present to Peter was we were going to go to the Drake um, whiskey, uh, the Drake Hotel whiskey bar. Um, but we're, before that, we are going to go to our college campus and get some Italian beef sandwiches, which a lot of people actually don't even know what beef sandwiches are. It's a Chicago thing, so. It's super cool. We'll show you. It's from the original so Al's Beef. The original There's like Al's eight or nine beef. franchises throughout the Chicago land area. I think more than that, There's, This is the original. Yes, the original on Taylor Street. Um, so it's actually not too terribly cold out, but um, we're excited to go out and do one of our like typical old nights. It was awesome because we haven't done this kind of stuff in like nine a or ten months. Because it was a while since we did it before we moved. Yeah. And just one last thing. Um, Peter and I thrive downtown in the winter. Like, even though you would think we would go downtown more when it's nice out and you're like walking around and it'd be enjoyable, like, we tend to really like go downtown a lot more when it's cold. So, we really haven't done it since last. last so, winter. this is like our other aesthetic besides Disney, is what we're yeah. about to do. Can't wait to show you. that there are stools here yeah, because the proper to way to do it is to stand. <laughs> and Sean, before you hear it, you said a couple weeks ago on the vlog that we ate at Epcot and there was 5,000 calories. That was not, but that is probably 5,000 calories and that's all mine. This is Italian beef dipped in the With sauce. Jardinera peppers. And hot jardinera. French fries. I didn't get a large one. And pop. So this is a place that my parents would go to when my dad went to school at USC. Like when they were dating. Yes, where we went. And we came here as kids and then Peter and I started coming here. And so Because our school, our college is like just down the road. Yeah. Maybe three blocks. So this is honestly one of our favorite places. We haven't been here in a long time. And it's just no frills, just beef sandwiches, fries. So good. This place is so important that when my boss came to Chicago for Thanksgiving. I was like, there's one place in the entire city you have to go eat. It was here. But it was convenient, he went to a concert nearby. But he went and he loved it. Was delicious. delicious. Now this was like family owned, small, you know, thing where we're going next. Is Isn't old it Chicago. Different? Old Chicago. So one of the things that like we don't talk about a lot, but we like practice all the time, we've always practiced is like just being proud and owning what you do or what you want to do. Yeah.
Oh my golly. So clearly, Ailes Beach is one of those hole in the wall places. But where we're going now is quite fancy. But we don't let one type of place define who we are. We love who we love. And we and just we, act like we're supposed to be everywhere we're supposed to go. And we own it. So when we go to fancy places. One second we're at a hole in the wall, one second we're at fancy. We told Tyler the same thing yeah. when we were at one of the lounges in Disney. It's like, I feel like I'm not fancy enough. I'm like, just own it. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to do. But guess where we are? In the very... This is, oh, if you go like this. Oh yeah, seriously. I literally was standing just right here. <laughs> And I, I got done on, on one of the posts. Yay, right here. Gazebo. We're at the gazebo. But what's hilarious is the lights that gave Peter so much trouble on this here gazebo. He tried so hard to get him lit for the proposal, but he couldn't. The park district had gone under like nobody was managing it or taking care the of it. The flowers were just being rotted. The lights weren't taken down. Never turned on, but also never taken down for years. They're gone and everything's turned back. The bushes look good. The lights are gone. You can see where the, the strings were. But it looks like they're finally, their lights are being replaced. That's why it's so bright over here. It it's looks great. beautiful. Yay. I love this woman. Yay. Let's go inside. Okay. I will say this is how fancy this hotel is. There's a ga art gallery. An art gallery in it. So that is pretty fancy. There's also oh, this. Remember the time we bought a bunch of like Disney um, golden books here? Yeah. From the floors. From the floors, gift shop. But this is where we're going. This is their their bar and lounge, which I think the entrance is on the other side. Ooh, they got a singer and a piano player, Sarah. It's like he held up. See, the Jake Arcade and Services, stores and services. Let's get a, let's, get, let's go get a table. Valentine's Day. It's called Frankie's on the Fifth. <laughs> and there's a restaurant and bar at the 95th floor of the gym. John Hick. It's chilly, and but it feels full. good. I ate too much Also, food we're discussing February's buttons. buttons. And it's exciting. And we think you're going to like This is what, when you live in Chicago, you call a beach. It really offends anybody who lives by the ocean because... His mom. Especially my mom. Because it's a giant lake, but to our defense, as Chicagoans, you can't see anywhere across the lake. There. That right there is actually a lighthouse. Yeah. I think it's a hotel slash office space, not sure, but that's a rotating light for the thing that is on a beach that is called a lake, but it's a massive one, so... Yeah. People don't call it a beach, yeah. but it's a big old mass of water that needs a lighthouse. Yeah. I think you can call it a beach. Right. And we just walked underneath this. So like over there is the Drake and the gazebo. And what you saw was the walkway underneath to get to the beach. Our first apartment <laughs> was like five miles that way, right by the lake. And we first moved in, we're like, let's go to Navy Pier. Navy Pier is over there. It took us about three hours to walk there. No, it was not three it was hours. Almost two hours. It was two hours. To walk there. We took the bus back. We took the bus back. <laughs> like, what do we think? We took the bus back. We were just excited to live downtown. 
Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's the greatest city in the world. A drive home without being stuck by a train. To our defense, to the train's defense, we passed like four sets of train tracks, so the odds are high. But Especially when you live next to, or like on the side of the city that's quite industrial. Yeah, like everything that comes in, in through the Lake Michigan ports go through the south side and they go out to the rest of the country. Uh, but yeah, typical. She's super sleepy. I am. Well, we've just been sitting here, like, instead of watching TV, just scrolling because they're, like, not in the loop while we're here. Um, I'm going to put a link. When we edit this, we put a link to the last day of Vlogmas of last year because we ended it on this couch, I think. Yeah. We have to go in because it's got a recap of the whole Vlogmas. So yeah. for any people who didn't watch <laughs> us on the old Fab 5207, it's a good recap of our what our daily life looked like last December when we were living here. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go to bed. We yeah. didn't show up, but we stopped by my old hotel mm -hmm. and saw a lot of uh, about a couple of the people I used to work with on overnights, and like that was like a terrible, terrible, terrible shift. Any of you working third shift, I feel your pain. I hope it's not forever, but if it is, stay <sighs> strong. But there's like a resilience to the team that you work with. So we were like a little family. So it was nice to, it was see, nice to see unexpected, and it was nice to see the ones and, like, we did see. I mean. I know a lot of people that you work with, but I met one that we had, I had never met. So. But I, she had heard countless stories yeah. about it, so. That was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun doing chicago stuff, just us two, so yeah. thank you again. Thank you. A lot of fun, but thank you for following along. And hopefully tomorrow morning, the baby, can the baby and the parents get to come home tomorrow. I hope so. so. Let's go to bed so we can get up and, yeah, I and I have to record a podcast with them, because the, our schedule went all wonky this week because of coming here. Yeah. So check out Park Hopper Podcast if you haven't. It'll come out Sunday morning. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.